I've been running for four years. And what this is about is making LGBT history visible in York. Um, we've got over 70 blue plaques up um, in the streets of York, and you might know blue plaques kind of commemorate a significant place or a person or an event that happened. Um, what we want to do is to add some LGBT history into that and to raise awareness um, of the fact that actually people who would identify today under the LGBT umbrella have existed for centuries, thousands of years. It's so significant to a woman called Anne Lister, um, who was known, she was around in the late 18th, early 19th century, and she's known today as the first modern lesbian because um, of the way she wrote in her diary, um, in code a lot of the time, about her lesbian identity and about only being attracted to women. Um, and in 1824, she came with her partner, Anne Walker, to this church, um, and they shared communion and solemnised their relationship. But we've been working with York Civic Trust, York LGBT Forum, and York's Alternative History um, to work towards potentially having a permanent rainbow plaque. And we've had some events um, with the local LGBT community, and the person who comes out on top, as everybody thinking that she should be commemorated, is Anne Lister. Um, so we're talking to the Church's Conservation Trust now about how we can make a permanent rainbow memorial to Anne. Everyone who's turned up um, has been really enthusiastic about the idea of commemorating Anne Lister. Um, I think what's also nice about our um, temporary rainbow plaques is that we're commemorating everything, so partly stuff that is kind of really historically significant, like Anne, um, but also stuff that isn't in the history books. We've got a plaque going up to mark the fact that the tradition of um, people gathering outside York Minster on New Year's Eve to kind of ring in the new year to the sound of the bells actually that was started by a group of gay men from the gay side of the york arms and nobody knows about that kind of hidden lgbt aspect of york's history um, and last year i put up a plaque to the place where i came out to my mum so actually it's about personal significant histories just as much as it is about big things like i'm